This is an iPhone 11 Pro running iOS 13.5, but as you can see, it looks quite a bit different because it's running a jailbreak theme courtesy of the new Uncovered Jailbreak for iOS 13.5. It's super simple and super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do so right now in just a few minutes. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna be using a Mac running Catalina, but it also works on Windows machines as well. So just keep that in mind. So first of all, we wanna open up Safari, and then we wanna to navigate to altstore.io. This is going to allow us to install the alt store, which allows us to install the jailbreak. So all you need to do is click where it says Mac OS, and then click allow to allow downloads from altstore.io. It's gonna download the application to your downloads folder. You wanna open up a finder window, and then drag the alt store application to the applications folder in finder, open up applications and then double click on the alt store and then just click okay or open rather. And that will open up the alt store application. Now you're not going to see anything front and center, but if you go up to the menu bar, you're going to see the alt store menu bar options. And then you want to go down to where it says install mail plugin and select that. Now you want to click where it says install plugin. Go ahead and put in your administrator password, click OK, click OK. Then open up the stock mail app and then go up to the menu bar and select mail preferences. So mail preferences and then on the general tab, click where it says manage plugins and then enable the alt store plugin and then click apply and restart mail. So once you do that, you can close the mail app out and now it's time to connect your iPhone to your Mac using a USB to lightning cable. So I have it connected to a dock just to make it easy to show you guys. All right, so once you are connected, you can see here just a regular old iPhone 11 Pro running 13.5. So once you have it connected, you wanna go back to your Mac and then you wanna open up a finder window and under locations, you should see your iPhone listed there. Just wanna click your iPhone and click where it says trust if you haven't done this already previously. So I'm gonna click trust. Once you do that on your iPhone, you should see a little icon that pops up asking you to trust your computer. So you just wanna tap trust there. Now chances are you've probably already done this if you've connected your iPhone to your computer before, but if not, you wanna do so and then put in your passcode just like that. And that will establish a trust between your iPhone and your Mac. So now you can close out of the finder and Let's go to our settings here. I just want to show you guys if I go to general and about, I am running 13.5. So I just wanted to confirm to you that I'm running 13.5 and this is just a fresh install of iOS. So now we want to go back to our Mac. We're going to go back up to the menu bar for the alt store and then select where it says install alt store and choose your iPhone name. Click that. And now it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and password. So this is used to authenticate with Apple. This isn't saved somewhere on some remote server. You can run a packet sniffer if you want to just to verify. So once you have your Apple ID and password in, just click where it says install. And since I've used alt store before, I'm gonna get this message. Just click where it says continue. And then you'll see some notifications there. It says installing. This may take a few seconds. So back to our iPhone, you're gonna see on your iPhone, the alt store appear there after just a few seconds. So give it a few seconds and there you go, automatically switches over to that second page and then you get an installation succeeded message on your Mac. All right, so let's go back to our iPhone. Now it's just a matter of opening up Alt Store and then you'll see a message that says untrusted developer. So what we need to do there, just tap on cancel, wanna go back to settings, general, scroll down and tap where it says device management you should see your Apple ID there, tap your Apple ID, and then click trust, and then trust again. And that's it. So now you can go back to the alt store, launch that up, and now you can allow notifications if you want to, and that part is finished. So now what we do is we close out of the alt store for now, open up Safari, and then navigate to uncover with a zero dot dev. So U-N-C zero V-E-R dot dev, there you go. So now below the download button, you'll see a button that says open in alt store. 
So you want to tap where it says open in alt store and then tap where it says open. It'll open up the alt store and notice a little download indicator at the top. So now it is installing the uncover jailbreak tool so that you can use it and jailbreak your iPhone. But first it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and password again. So you can just do the same thing that we did earlier. Okay, so sign in to verify with Apple and then tap got it and then give it a second. I've sped it up a little bit. Then you should see the uncovered jailbreak tool below the alt store. All right, there we go. So just tap where it says seven days and then give it a second. It'll install the uncovered tool. So swipe up and there we go. There's the uncovered tool. So just open that up and then tap where it says jailbreak. So it's going to go through this initial part. You'll see this advertisement, just close that out. And then it says jailbreak completed. You want to tap OK. This is the first step. It's going to reboot your iPhone. Once it reboots and comes back up, you want to run that jailbreak a second time to complete it. All right, so we'll just give it a second. All right, so let's unlock our phone. Don't watch my password. All right, so there is the uncovered tool. Open that up again and then tap jailbreak a second time. And this one is going to do it right here. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below. Have you ever followed one of my old jailbreak tutorials? Like, I mean, from way back in the day, just want to know if any of the, any of you guys are still with me all these years later. I'm just interested to know. All right, go ahead and click where it says, okay. And in just a second, we'll go back to our home screen. All right, let's unlock. There we go. Swipe over and bam, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Cydia is there and ready to be used. So ladies and gentlemen, we have it, Cydia on iOS 13.5 on the iPhone 11 Pro. So we'll go ahead and update everything here. We're not going to talk about a whole bunch of tweaks and things right now. Maybe we'll do that in the future if, if the demand is there. But honestly, I've kind of moved on from jailbreaking. I just don't. I'm just not into it like that anymore. But I just thought it was cool because we have this huge release for 13.5 for all devices. It's pretty crazy to me. So I just felt like I had to try it. But as you can see now, I'm downloading Snowboard. I downloaded Iris, my favorite theme. And that's really kind of the reason why I decided to jailbreak. I wanted to run Iris for iOS 13 because it's an awesome theme. So I know I don't really cover jailbreak stuff anymore, but if you're following this tutorial, tell me down below, why do you still jailbreak? I mean, there's so much that iOS can do natively already. What is your reason for being interested in jailbreaking? Definitely let me know down below in the comments section. So we're going to open up Snowboard and enable my favorite theme, Iris, from my buddy Sure Nix. Let's go ahead and get this thing running. And there we go. <laughs> it looks incredible. You have all those customized icons. Just gives iOS a nice fresh coat of paint. And it's just one of many themes available for jailbreakers. So again, folks, if you appreciated this tutorial, let me know down below. If you want to see more jailbreak stuff, who knows, maybe we'll see, <laughs> but let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.